What's up guys, Mike Tierney here from Princess Auto. Welcome to Tech Tips with Mike T. It's all about compressors today. As we select our compressors, as we're looking for compressors, we wanna make sure that uh, we start with what are we going to do with that compressor? So um, are you gonna be a mobile application? Are you gonna be at home in a garage where you don't need to move around too much? Do you want a small compressor to take out to the lake or the cottage? just to do some work off, off of uh, off grid, you wanna attach it to a generator? Or do you want something a little bit more industrial? So we've got a few different compressors out in front of us here. And um, you know, I'm just gonna run through on you know, what some of the, the differences are between them, kind of why you would select one over the other. So the first one uh, up here is a gas powered uh, small unit. Uh, this is actually one of the smallest gas powered units that you can find with a very small capacity uh, dual tank. Um, it allows you to be ultra portable, so you can go anywhere you want, as long as you got some fuel with it, um, run your, your hoses. Um, it's actually fairly lightweight, um, and uh, you can use it on a, you know, the back end of a truck or a, the trailer, or if you want to, you know, building a cottage and you need some air tools uh, to do that work. This is a great option. It's actually relatively quiet other than the, you know, a gas engine sound, but uh, the, the, the actual compressor pump is fairly quiet. Um, it's only gonna produce a certain amount of flow, which we call CFM when it comes to air compressors. Cubic feet per minute is the quantity of air that's going to be delivered at a certain pressure. So we call that pounds per square inch or PSI. So typically you're looking for you know, as much flow and as much pressure as you can because your tools are gonna to demand that, but you have to be, you know, careful on the units that you're gonna select from. So this is a great portable unit um, that, uh, you know, can take you anywhere. Out front, we have um, a, an ultra quiet model. They're relatively new to Princess Auto and um, it's actually got about half or so the decibel ratings than an equal of that size type compressor. So if sound is an issue, um, they are loud when they run and um, they basically, um, you know, will be a lot quieter if you're in that same area where, you know, your compressor is and you're working in your shop. Um, it's also, you know, portable to the point where you can plug it into a, um, you know, a standard power outlet, so 120. Um, you can also use a generator as long as you've got the right uh, uh, power cords and the right size generator for the, uh, the, the draw that that compressor is going to uh, require. As you start to step up and increase your air system um, or the amount of air tools that you want to use, uh, you got to go to a, uh, an industrial. So they come in a variety of different capacity sizes, 60, 80, 100, 120 gallon tanks. That's the air capacity, but they also come with a bunch of different options that you may not find on some of the smaller uh, units. So as you step up in size, these are what's, you know, the industry may call them industrial, but they're, uh, they're just a little bit higher end than, you know, some of your smaller ones. Um, what you're starting to look at is, you know, the pump is separate from the, uh, the motor or the, uh, the engine. Um, it uses belts and pulleys at the backside here. Um, you can change out individual components so that if you do have uh, some wear and tear on one of the products or pro um, uh, parts on the, on the compressor, you know, you can actually swap them out. So as we get into these large capacity uh, units, um, these are typically going to need to be hardwired in or a, uh, an electrician come in, wire into the pressure switch that's out front with the switch on it, and then they would wire it into a breaker uh, box or create a plug and then a plug that would go to your breaker. Um, as we get to this size, you get some pump variations, a, a few more options when it comes to your pumps. Um, in this case, the one that is here, this is what we call a three piston pump. Um, they come in singles and duels and three. Princess Auto only carries up to a three piston. Um, and that's the, the, the amount of air that it can um, rotate into the, the compressor tank um, for every rotation of that pump. So when one piston's drawing in, one's pushing air in, into the, the tank. And it's essentially just taking three times the amount of air in the same as a single piston would. So you're, you're actually filling your tank, your refill re refresh rate in your tank is um, cut into you know, two thirds in some cases. So um, that's really uh, what 
more or less pistons do for you. You just get a faster um, input into your tank. Now with that, as your system demands higher pressures, uh, more CFM ratings, um, you can get um, compressors that have what's called two-stage compressor pumps. So in the case, the one that's beside me here and the all three models here, these are what we call single-stage compressors. They compress the air once and put it into the tank. It doesn't matter how many pistons they have, basically you're only getting one piston at a time putting it into the tank. So you get a max rating at a certain CFM at a certain pressure. If you need more, for whatever reason your systems are larger, more tools, all of those things that you're going to design, and we'll go over in the next uh, little segments, is the pump. So if we step it up to a two-stage pump, a two-stage pump actually has two different size pistons that compress the air twice before it goes into the compressor tank. So you're getting a large volume of air that's compressed, and then it's going into a second smaller compressor piston, and that compresses it even further. So you essentially get higher pressure and more CFM that you can use for the rest of your system. So the costs do change. Um, you know, it's inherent to compressors. The compressor is obviously going to be one of the more expensive components. But what you're really looking for is what do you need out of your compressor? Are you more portable? Are you less portable? Do you have higher power that you can plug into? Do you need to be, you know, um, you know on, a, on a trailer or on a truck and you're, you know, maybe you're doing roofing and that kind of stuff where maybe power isn't as available as it uh, could be. So those decisions start to narrow down your selection of these compressors. Yes, everybody would love a nice, you know, a nice big compressor in their garage, but that doesn't necessarily always going to mean that you have that, uh, um, that power or, or those availabilities. And then obviously price can come into it. So, you know, um, the smaller models, less CFM, less pressure, you know, you can get into them for a few hundred dollars and then, uh, you know, <laughs> accelerate really quick to the price points to the larger um, uh, compressors available. So if you're looking for other compressors that you don't see here that might uh, tickle your fancy, we've got a lot of compressors on, uh, in our catalog, online, um, in our store. So feel free to, you know, have a look at all the different models that are out there and, uh, you know, it'll give you a great option to uh, best select the one that you're going to need to run your air system. Well, that's it for Tech Tips with Mike T. See you next time.